everybody it is Wednesday um, I've just been to the gym and done my back and arm workout um, it's about 10 past 10 now and I am just breaking my fast with these delicious pancakes it's so good um, and just a dandelion tea I love dandelion tea it's kind of like coffee but better for you and not coffee so this recipe is basically um, oats, an egg, some egg whites, and banana. And I put a little bit of baking powder in there to make them a bit puffier. And then I just topped it with lots of shit. Yeah, real quick. This is Tom. This is meal two. Eggs and some egg whites and some Cock. rice Ridiculous. cakes. And Tom has a smoothie. Tell him what's in the smoothie. Love. Love. And he's also got some eggs there too. Hey guys. It is about 2.45. Um, I have just done a workout with my friend Sasha. Um, we just did a full body workout. Um, I wrote her a new program, so we're going through that. And now I am off to my dance studio to practice some posing. So I'll film some of that for you. again so just finished my posing changed up my routine a little bit I was completely happy with my ending and just some of my moves I felt a little bit not comfortable doing um, but yeah that was a good little session just nice to practice um, in my heels and have someone else to kind of watch and pick up on things that I'm doing or not doing or should be doing or whatever and now I am on to meal number three for the day so having a little snack because I'm hungry after that gym session and posing um, I've just got two wheat bix and a coconut chobani so I'm going to put that chobani in the container and then crush the wheat bix on top and it's going to taste awesome and uh, yeah, so I'm going to scuff that down and then head on home. Going to go walk Luna this afternoon and then I've just got classes tonight. Um, so yeah. Hello again. It's about four o'clock. Me and Luna are just on our walk. She's run off just adventuring. Um, we try and come here every day, every afternoon. It's a really nice park. Um, where she can just run off an adventure and you don't have to worry about her having on the lead or her running off anywhere. Um, something that I did just want to talk about was um, support while on a competition prep. Um, basically, I am really really lucky my family they get it and they support me they are doing everything to make this prep as easy as possible and um, yeah they truly are the most supportive people so I'm really really thankful for that but it wasn't always like that for me um, in 2013 when I was in year 12 um, that's when I really started getting into my fitness and my health and I got so much shit from all of my friends all of my peers at school um, you know I'd bring my salad for lunch and they would just rip me um, but I think you grow a thick skin and it really has taken me it took me probably two years to realise that 
what you do, what you choose to do, this lifestyle that you choose to live, you have to do it for you and you can't rely on other people to always understand you or get why you're doing something. And I think that is really important on comp prep because not everyone's going to understand it and not everyone is going to support what you are doing or understand it or anything like that. So I think for me, this has been probably, it's not easy, it's not easy ever prep, but I have amazing support system. My power fit team is just incredible. We all know that we're going through the same thing. Our coach really tries to help us all out and we're all there to support each other. Um, whether that's just online or if we do see each other. Knowing that other people are going through the same thing is really comforting. But yeah, anyway, I think you've got to get that thick skin if you want to compete. You've got to understand that people aren't going to get it. Probably going to put you down, make you feel uncomfortable when you are eating your food and they're drinking and partying and doing all this stuff. This is a decision that you've made for you, not for them. They don't have to understand it. This massive tree has fallen down. Holy smoke. That is big. So, I mean, I think for me, I know why I'm doing this. I know, like, I want to do it and I want to do it for me, not for a placing, not to prove to anyone that I can do it just because I wanted a goal. This is the goal that I set for myself. Luna is just swimming in the water. Well, getting filthy like she normally does. Uh, but yeah, this is something that I'm doing for me and I think that's really important when you go into a, a competition prep not to think about the placing that you want to get or anything like that. Really just soak in that journey um, because this has been quite a long prep for me. You know, I started months ago you know I've been looking forward to this for so long and I've really just tried to soak up the journey enjoy every day you know, that's why I write everything down how I'm feeling that's why I'm vlogging sharing with you guys on my Instagram so that I can just remember what it's like and I can know for you know if I compete again I can know for my clients um, but yeah um, uni started this week so it's another thing that got on my plate that i've got to start thinking about which i think that comp prep really does consume a lot of your time just because like i'm literally thinking about it all the time whether i'm thinking about food or my workouts or just comp in, in itself i'm always thinking about it and I guess it's good to have uni because it gives you something else to focus on. Um, I'm hoping the next six and a half weeks go really quickly. But at the same time, I'm a little bit worried that I'm going to be thinking about comp too much and not be able to focus on my uni. Um, but we'll see how we go. I am only doing two subjects, so I should be fine. So we are back home from our walk. Um, it's just about half an hour walk and I want to meal four. Um, so it's five o'clock now. Um, I've got 140 grams of brown basmati rice, 100 grams of chicken, which I have just seasoned with um, some garlic, some cumin powder, which I love, and a little bit of cane pepper. Um, just with some Brussels sprouts as well and some sugar-free tomato sauce because flavor. Um, yeah, this is meal four and I will go do my two classes tonight and come back and make my dinner. <laughs> 